Our rain threat will increase for us as we get into Sunday night and Monday ahead of a storm system next week. Tonight, just a small chance for an isolated shower or a sprinkle. Now, temperatures are going to stay mild uh, for your weekend. In fact, looking at the seven-day trend here on into Saturday and Sunday, uh, we'll be in the low 40s tomorrow, 50 on Sunday, but then they come on down as we go into the middle of next week and starting out December with those cold temperatures around. That is because there's a big storm system that'll be pushing our way Monday and Tuesday, and that'll drag in that cold air and also a chance of rain rain and snow. But this evening, just some clouds, a small chance of a sprinkle or a very isolated shower through this evening. Uh, most of this is going to evaporate before it hits the ground. Temperatures uh, through tomorrow morning dipping back to the middle 30s. Could be a stray flurry early in the morning, but the clouds should continue to break up as we go through our Saturday, and that'll help the temperatures at least slightly. Uh, they will only climb into the low to mid 40s here by the afternoon. But I am expecting dry weather weather through your Saturday into Saturday night with clear skies uh, right on through the start of your Sunday. So Sunday looks mostly sunny, especially through the first half of the day. I am expecting some clouds to sneak in as we go on through the afternoon. It should be thin clouds though and temperatures building uh, right around that 50 degree mark for your Sunday. Now Sunday night, that's when the threat of rain moves in. Uh, this is just the leading edge of this large storm system that'll be pulling its way out of the southern United States. In fact, we'll go ahead and take a look at that, how this uh, comes together Sunday night into Monday with this bigger storm pushing in for early next week. So Sunday evening, uh, the clouds build in, but the rain will take uh, through the night and especially by early Monday morning as the storm approaches, it'll be rain showers to get things going. It'll be a cold rain and it could dump a half to three quarters of an inch of rainfall as the center of this system tries to drive right over top of us here at home. But as it pulls on through, we'll get on the back side of it into Monday afternoon and Monday night and that'll turn the wind up. It's also going to turn the temperature down at the same time and that'll change the rain over to snow and I am expecting a wind driven snow at times Monday night in through the day on Tuesday and even into Tuesday night as temperatures continue at a stay cold in fact it'll be a struggle to get back above freezing uh, for your Tuesday and we're going to stay cold through the middle of the week as the snow showers keep trying to add up as we go through Tuesday Tuesday night and into Wednesday morning now we'll have to watch the track of the storm very very closely as we get into early next week. An 80 mile jump on this uh, definitely would increase our snow totals. Uh, but again, it'll be enough to probably shovel and plow before we get out of this on into Wednesday. 34 tonight, mostly cloudy. Chance for a sprinkle or a very isolated flurry into the early morning. Uh, temperatures in the low 40s tomorrow with those decreasing clouds and more sunshine expected through the afternoon. Sunday looks great, mostly sunny, 50. Now let's talk about that storm again. The rain moves in Sunday night into Monday morning. Monday is going to be a wet day. A rain shower is expected through the day, highs in the low 40s. It mixes the snow by Monday evening into Monday night, and that's when the snow will start accumulating and expecting accumulating snow to continue through your Tuesday. Windy as well, it gusts up to 20 to 30 miles per hour or higher possible, depending on how strong and how big this storm wraps up as it moves on through. Again, this is going to be an evolving process on this storm, and that's why I've been talking the track of it all week long, because just a little distance will make a difference, of course, with those snow totals. But sticking around through Tuesday night into Wednesday, we'll get some lake effect snows on the back side of it. A cold and blustery a break next Thursday, but the chance of rain and snow on another storm system moving our way late next week into the weekend.